Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nokt, and this is Backbone. It's a noir detective game, which is kind of similar to Black Sad's universe with the whole animal people. So let's see. They did a demo of it, I think, last year, and I loved it. So I hope the full game will be just as good, if not better. Act one, prologue. I love the pixel art. Really nice. Hey Oda, is that you? What do you want? Sorry, miss your call. Yeah, no problem. 27 on the buzzer. Just enough time to clean up. Okay, let's see. Oh, I think this is the demo's beginning. Uh, okay, drag items. Um, oh, okay, there. Uh, John D. Insurance fraud. All green, 4 p.m. Dangly fear. <laughs> Insurance fraud, stolen cars, estranged lovers. Should probably be some of those old case files. Yeah. My diploma project. Places of absolute solitude. Only action my camera sees these days is snapping fools leaving places they shouldn't be in. Gotta hit up Frankie to fix it when I have a cash. So, never. Call mom, buy soap, pay bills, don't die. I can't promise the last. Leaving photo developers in the kitchen in a short road to poisoning. Oh, we get soup. Hard to get tired of this view. Seeing all the dirt of the corrupted city. I will watch this later. Probably not. I will just throw them out of the window. Whoever catches it is theirs. Don't care. Never did. The great apes, the great story. Swell toilet raid. Everything knows its proper place. <laughs> That must be Mrs. Green. Odette. Uh, excuse me, I'm looking for Detective Lotor. We spoke on the phone. Um, at your service, Mrs. Green. How's the day going? Um, the truth to be told, my back's killing me. Pregnancy puts pressure on the spine. And please, Odette is fine. Your first kid? Third, actually. I'm guessing you didn't come to ask about the babysitter. I understand this sort of thing is routine in your line of work. It's about my husband, you see. He's a cheater, ain't he? I think so. But I would need real proof, right? To go to court. Court? Are you filing for a divorce? That's right. And above all, I need something damning enough that custody won't even be a question. Your husband will want the kids. I, I can't take any chances anymore. Anymore? What do you mean? But has he said or done something to make you think he would? This is a separate issue. One I don't want to dig up right now. Is the kids on that? I really need every edge I can get. He has threatened to take them, yes. Daisy and Elliot shouldn't have to go through all this. I'm doing what it takes to protect their future. Is your husband aggressive? 
I can't see how this has gotten into Mr. Luthor. Odette, person of DTS can make or break the case. So please, work with me. I don't see how this would help you take a photo of my husband. I have to know if he's dangerous. Fine, he has a mean temper. Unpredictable. That's all you need to know. What makes you so certain he's having an affair? He was always a private kind of man. I'm starting getting home late, missing work and smelling funny. How late are we talking? Way past the kiss dinner time. I asked what he was doing. It didn't go well. What kind of smell? Like perfume, and not mine. Alcohol, smoke, and something poignant. A kind of herbal stink. He's skipping work. I had calls from his boss, wondering if he was sick. I even covered for him. I'm so fed up with this shit. And you caught him lying. Well, he's just so bad at it. Wasn't much of a liar when we first met, or at least, I thought so. I'm taking the case. Let's talk fine details. Sure, what do you need to know? What does he look like? Here's a photo. He's an otter, of course. He wears glasses, square ones, and his wedding band, as far as I know. Oh, and he carries a black briefcase to and from work. What's his full name? Any al aliases? Jeremy Green. I think people at work call him Jazz. How would I pick him out of a crowd? He wears a suit to work. I picked out his green tie and hat for him today. Okay, green tie and hat. Where would I find him? Usually, I mean. Usually at work or at home. He never used to stop anywhere. Now it's all the time. Have you met any of his friends? No, but he's mentioned a few guys. Says they get together after work sometimes. Where does he work? At the Wolf Bank, on Granville. I'll write the address down for you. That should be enough. That's just a matter of my fee. I can give you a hundred now, and fifty when you bring me to the photos. Will that suffice? Yes. Plus any unexpected expenses. It's not just my life riding on this. I can only afford one shot. What assurance can you give me that you are the right guy for the job? It's a matter of trust, Odette. Do you trust me? No, but I have no choice. My life is on the line. I will get right on it. Call you later tonight. Goodbye, Odette. So, cheating husband. Typical. Uh, just a sec, I think I need to make the game a bit quieter. Like there, maybe? And um, I just can fuck it up with the master. Maybe there. Uh, I would like to continue, please. To Granville. So, Jeremy Green. Green tie, hat, black briefcase. Where's the suit? And the note, so busy. Granville. Granville. Smells like wet concrete, overpriced fast food, and puke. My kind of battleground. Yo! Yo, old man! How's, go how's going, fella? Just hanging, what's up with you? You could say I'm hanging too. Go by hanging to yours. Peace, bro. Take a look at this photo. Have you seen this guy around? Nah, man. Even if I had, why would I tell you? Well, see you. Yeah. Okay, 50's on. I really love the art style. It looks so nice. Anatoly. Hey, if it isn't, if it isn't Mr. Howie. What's a rascal like you up on to find an evening like this? Hey Anatoly, I'm looking for someone. You got a minute? My beaver, how are Estelle and the kid? Near was doing just fine. Elsie and I are good, great. Beaver, that's the shepherd, got a second lab 
land you soon. Oh, I got gay story for you. Too many if you ask me. <laughs> you will want one eventually, Howie. So anyway, as she is as round as a watermelon, right? So I tell her. Ha! Woman, you get any bigger and I won't fit you in the trunk of the car. You scallywag. And so... Ha! <laughs> she just turns to me with the eyes of a killer and says. Give me the bread, honey. Oh boy, woman, man. Woman. Woman, mysterious creatures, they love bread. So we bring the news to our boy, Victor. Son, you're gonna have to uh, have a bro soon. And he's like, oh no, a bro? What is it? Dare I ask what you told him? So I tell him, Mama and Papa worked hard, so the apes let us have another baby. Baby boy, just like you. Mm hmm. Little Victor poor soul starts laughing. Oh, daddy, we are going to be so happy. Me and baby bro will play all the time and I say, sure son, but here's the catch. That always is. You and mama are gonna have to look after him, because two babies mean zero daddies. Because daddy has to work four shifts instead of two. Ha 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 Jeez, are you alright man? I will manage, I will manage. Now what did you say you were doing here? I'm looking for a guy. Yeah, he has a picture. You seen him ever? Yeah, I seen him. Barrel of love's kinda guy. Smells really bad. Took him back from the bite a couple of times. Did you ever talk? Did he mention anything that seemed strange? Nah, he was too rushed to work most of the time. He smelled it enough talking for both of us. <laughs> he smelled? Of what exactly? Ah, you know, poopy kinda of smell. Stale booze and perfume, herbs, all full of those shit. Any idea where he would be now? Yes, the bite is as good as a guest as any. It's a goofy place so, eh? Thanks, Anatoly. You're a detective best friend. Why he goes to Estella? Take care, my man. Bye. Anatoly, I love you. They did a great job restoring the rogue. If people watched more movies, maybe the world wouldn't be so sad. Cocktails and the movie. Sounds like a great plan for the weekend, actually. Eden Simmons is the hottest new jazz star. See her tonight only at the bite. Move bank. Is this where Green works? Yeah. You folks at work at the move bank, right? Yeah, why? Is just around? And who are you? Well, as asshole owes him me money, I'll be looking for him everywhere. You and me both, pal. And Derek. Good luck getting it back anytime soon. I make my own luck. When was the last time you saw him? Today. But the Vimpass left early. He's scared Derek's gonna split his wig. Yeah. Did something happen at work? Heard his contract is not getting renewed. Bastard had it coming. He got a girlfriend or something? If you reckon Harlots are out of girlfriends, then sure. Could be with one of them for all I know. Ah, okay, so the... The associate doesn't even know that he's married, seems like it. Interesting. Did you boys spend time with him outside work? Yeah, we used to have a blast at the bite every Thursday, and they turned into a needy leech. The bite? Could he be there now? How the fuck would I know? Now schedule rack. I will just do that. I definitely wouldn't fit in with that crowd. Wouldn't want to. No entrance for raccoons. Goodbye. Perhaps a couple of loons would change your mind. I heard no. Carlos, who is Carlos? I thought we can have something big boy. I'm sure we can arrange something, big boy. What do you need? Get me a personal invitation signed by the great apes and I will let you in. Deal? Mm, sure. Bye. What do I want? Can I get inside? Stay or no? Don't ask. Tough crowd. 14.99 for a trim? I will stick to the mirror. A pair of scissors and a large whiskey.
Oh okay, I'm down is on your team the boost I have my head. I can't deal with him right now. Not if I want to deal with him. Yeah, I want to deal with him. Howard, come over here, boy. Uh, you have you have mistaken for someone else, officer. Funny joke, yes, man. Found the job yet? I have my own PI agency down there. And what are you investigating, detective? It's confidential. Yeah, sure. Called your mom recently? Why do you care? We are basically family. Maybe one day you will learn what that means. I don't care what it means. So edgy, you are not 14 anymore. What's wrong with you? Me? What about what's wrong with you? So childish, we are all getting tired of hoping you will man up one day and stop being such a disappointment. I don't want you to be proud of me. Later. Okay, I did not expect such a conflict. Old Ono is still tending to the shop. I should say hi before he gets driven out by Yumi out. Maybe next time. Each paper closes. One sock is more expensive than my whole outfit. Once I got punched by a guy in the Fedora, who then puked all over my new coat. Ah, <laughs> memories. Let's see. Socks, takeaway boxes, things. Aha, take it to the bite. Thanks, Trevin. Good day to you, friend. Fancy some fresh news? How's business, Bo? Business is business. Could always be better, but it keeps him fed. Dome hawkers don't have any. Granville's feeling off with them, and the force don't better an eyelid. Hawkers? You know, peddlers. They hold their equity as stands around testing forks and all with no permit. The police boost is right there. I've tried reporting them. By the time an officer gets there, the local hookers are smoke. Them their nibble little legs. Why does it bother you so much? No permit means they can undercut honest businessmen like myself. They are criminals. Gotcha, I better go then. Yeah, you go, I'm busy. That road and hawker will be arriving any minute now. I need to make sales. Man, you can be a bit of an entire loop sometimes. Get lost then, will ya? Bye. I thought I told you to be done. To do. To, I told you to do one. What's the headline today? It's a great day for a day, parade. Preparations underway. Celebration starts Friday. That will be half a loon. Hardly news. It's the same every year. No way. The floats are different every time. Get a same amount of nibbles. No buy. Will try. So? Why are you still here? I guess I'll get going. <laughs> Everyone is an asshole in this city. No exception. And I'm the biggest one of them. Don't cause any trouble, young man. How what? Well, I will be damned. It's been a while. Larry, what are you doing here? How are you doing, old man? You're calling me old? You should look in the mirror. <laughs> Alright, that's fair. Plus, there's, uh, plus these regs likely don't, uh, don't have my presence any. I didn't expect to see you here, to be honest. Who really expects to see anyone of note in the back alley? What's going on? What are you up to? Wait, do you live here? Live? Have you seen how tough the crowd here is? No, I live at the bridge. It's really not as bad as it sounds. I'm so sorry, Larry. Can I help in any way? Not really, thank you, so. Now what's your deal? Have you seen an otter guy around here recently? What did he do? Can't tell, plan confidentiality. Must be a 50 guy, what's he like? He's about my height, chubby, wears a green hat. Haven't seen him, sorry. Let me know if you need anything. I'm here often until people talk. I got a lead, but the bouncer won't let me into the bite. Don't break, it's really more of a cat and a dog crowd in there. You said your guy's an otter, that's weird. Where can I get a good disguise? Maybe if I was a handsome cat. 
Oh, how well, you may be able to pass as a cat, but even then you would be ugly. Thank you very much. In all seriousness, I need in. What you could do is ask Johnny, he would know better than me. Who's Johnny? Square kid with a leather jacket, he's a pusher. I don't think I know what his deal with the bite is, but they're chummy. What sort of stuff does Johnny push? You're typical, like hype and shadow Frank. Oh, get this, he started rolling out something called Monkey Bot. Who comes up with these names? It's like they don't want you to do the dogs. Monkey Bot? Yeah, word is this new thing's the shit. So perhaps a bit less figuratively than one might wish. Stanky thing. Does it have kind of herbal thing? No first hand experience, but I guess that could be a more delicate way to put it. But we know what the bite. Only the blood, uh, blood verse. So lots of was floating around about the whole ordeal. Blood verse? The bad family? The crime family. Let's see head of the family up and died. Head of the family up and died. And shit hit the fan. Hair ended up in prison. What are the rumors? Oh, all kinds of bullshit. How she's got a name for a lover, or that she was the one who got all the other skills so she could take over. And you think this Johnny guy would help? Might take some convincing, but he's chill. I've seen him help people cut the line. His clients, I think. Alright, hopefully that's enough to get me into the bite. Thanks. You got it, Howard. Welcome, uh, welcome distraction, really. See you soon? Sure, Larry. Thank you. I'll save you. Ooh, stay vigilant. No answer. Yes, yes, no, no. Safety, haha. Time to talk with the uh, square because I have a feel that this guy won't accept my ticket. He will recognize a trashed one. I don't think he will be a complete moron. Are you Johnny? Who's asking? I am. Yeah, I'm Johnny. What's it to you? I heard you the uh, monkey bot. The fuck? Why did you get the stupid idea, Striper? Ooh, who's Larry? No. I think Larry was the guy who I just... Oh, actually, I don't know. My friend. Well, you need better friends. I don't have shit. But you know where to get it. Square, square things with the bouncer for me and you will make a big sale. Hank doesn't let old, any old chump in for good reason. See, I make you simpatico. What does Jeremy get in return? Johnny Gaston not be introduced to the cops. Tread lightly, punk. I'll make you internally and fuck you up if you're not careful. Have you seen yourself? Why would I go anywhere with you? Yeah, so all I see is a fiercely trash monster who drinks alone and cries over his dirty magazines every night. Probably lives with his mama too. And the trench coat is just the final pitiful cherry on top of a crab cake. We are hearing that from a fellow with so much fur gel that he literally sticks to the walls, don't you find? Shut your mouth or I will stop your trash tail in it. You know, you're right. I'm a loser, but I need your help. Ah, you're pathetic. Would you get lost? Just looking at your fucked up face is carrying me for life. Yes, yes, I really, I really do. Help me, Johnny. You are gross and weird, I'll get you in, but you have got to leave me alone, okay? Beautiful, splendid! I love it how uncomfortable I made him. <laughs> Can I talk about Larry? He look lost, Harvey. Let me know if you need a ride, okay? Oh, he said it. Just a sec, I need to take a little break. Okay, I'm back. Needed to get some drink, because my soul starts to hurt from this. So, let's get in. So, I will talk to the bouncer. What are you waiting for? 
What do you want? Here's Johnny. Hey Johnny! Oh, you brought you my favorite customer, Striper. You can come on, don't cause any trouble. Thanks. Okay, let's see. Jazz, alcohol, beautiful canine ladies. Oh, a little too, too high and for my taste. Rene! Well, you are unusual. I will take this as a compliment. As you will. So it was just an observation. Rene Wilson. Wallace, pleased to meet you. Hmm, that's a fake name. You are too young for Wallace. Well, I'm Wallace tonight. Delightful. Have you got three by the room before? You're my first. Let's celebrate sometime. Take my card. Is that a fake card? To what, to what end, I wonder? Rene Wilson is a mask. You wear it well, but your true person is slipping through the cracks. The intrigue! What am I running away from? Yourself. I can't decide if that's deep or tragic. I'm gonna keep the card. By all means, if you run into something newsworthy, you know who to call. An investigative journalist. How's that gig? It's a living. Usually. Have you seen an auto gentleman here tonight? Hey there! You here for Adam Simmons show soon? I'm so happy to see her live, finally! Uh, sorry, I'm looking for a friend. Have you seen an auto gentleman? Yeah, here's this photo. Oh, I don't know, maybe. But I wasn't paying close attention. I could have before. Uh, enjoy the show. Isn't this too dreamy? Well, you, you sure are. God, I love this music. I'm looking for my friend, an author. Have you seen him? I haven't, sorry. I thought you would have been wearing your green tie glasses. Not really, leave me alone. Okay, sorry to bother you. Have a pleasant evening. Ingrid! Evening, sugar. Enjoying yourself? In here, how can I not be? We aim to please. So. What? I can't find my friend. Makes me worry. How touching. The irregular? Jeremy, he's usually here like clockwork. Maybe I've seen him. What's he like? He's an author. Doesn't sound like you know your friend very well. He wears glasses, green tie, green hat. Sounds more like you're this having a mountain man. Why are you looking for him? Four drinks. You could try asking the bartender or Miss Bloodworth. Thanks for your time, Miss. Call me English. Mr. Just Mr. Weirdo. If you insist. What's your poison? Surprise me. I will try. Let's see. Clarissa! You look a little lost. Is that obvious? It is to me. You, however, seem right at home. I practically am. Wouldn't you say so, boy? First name turns with the button the too? Heh. <laughs> Allow me to formally introduce myself. I'm Clarissa Bloodverse. I own the bite. Well, allow me to say you got a very cozy place here. Thanks, I decided to offer a sophisticated experience here. So to whom do I owe the pleasure? Name's Wallace. The pleasure is mine, Wallace. And what's your profession? Uh, nothing specific, just gigs here and there, whatever pays. Flexible, resourceful. I like it. 
So how can I help you, Valas? I like to try new things. Do you have any special recommendations? Folks say that our chef specialist to die for, but I pride myself on everything here being equally special. So what brought you here tonight? Hmm. I'm just here to meet a friend. Is that so? More for regular than you? Sure he is, obviously, talking, uh, talking the place up. What's his name? If he's here tonight, I will know. Jeremy. Last name Green. Otter, boring but nice type. And you were just meeting him for a quiet drink? Yeah, we got a lot, lot of catching up to do. Darling, I think you're lying to me. That's your prerogative, I guess. Mr. Wallace, if that is your real name, playing coy clearly doesn't suit you, and it's certainly not appropriate in my establishment. I suggest you take your business elsewhere. What did I do? Sorry, darling, that's how the world works. Sometimes you don't understand things, and they still happen to you. Perhaps I will be seeing each other again. Have a great night. If you say so, goodbye, Clarissa. And I'm kicked out from the bar, club, whatever it is. Betty Striper. Clarissa Bloodverse, what's her deal? I need to find another vein. Anyway, we will continue from here next time. I'm really curious about this investigation and what we'll bring. And I'm really all for this art style. Looks so pl uh, pleasant. And even how sometimes it, it, the whole thing set up like the camera is on the other side walk, so sometimes one one pedestrian goes in front of it. I love it. Anyway, thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye.